Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated for the unveiling and presentation of the Congressional Gold Medals by members of the United States Congress. Congressional gold medals have been presented nine times for aviation and rocketry achievements. Today, for the first time, they are being given for achievements in spaceflight. In an appropriate coincidence, Apollo 11's mission emblem and crew patch also featured an American bald eagle carrying an olive branch. The Apollo 11 crew is honored to receive the Congressional Gold Medal and accept on behalf of our fellow Apollo teammates, all those who played a role in expanding the human presence outward from Earth, and all those who played a role in expanding human knowledge of the solar system and beyond. We thank the Congress very much. Now we must consider ourselves among the most fortunate of all generations, for we have lived at a time when the dream became a reality, when we finally could travel above the atmosphere around the Earth, where we could establish laboratories in space and do research and for the very first time in history, leave human footprints on some place other than Earth, as Neil and Buzz and Mike made their epic journey. The message they left on the lunar surface could be said of all our manned space travels. We came in peace for all mankind. These dreams were brought to life by one of the most dedicated and capable teams ever put together. Workers, technicians, engineers, scientists. Honored as we are today, we certainly share this recognition with that great team. We now call on a new generation of explorers to go where we have never gone before. As we honor these heroes, I want to recognize the hundreds and thousands of dedicated NASA employees and industry partners who contributed to the incredible success of the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs and all that has followed and all that is yet to come. <laughs> 